Good afternoon. I'm Mickey and I'm with the main branch of the Shawano County Library and this is Hungry Librarians. Glad you could join us. Uh, for November we are making pumpkin desserts. This program is brought to you by the Friends of Shawano County Library so I want to say thank you to them. We are doing pumpkin because it's November so today I'm going to make a pumpkin earthquake cake. It's really yummy. I made it once before to try it out and the staff here have said yes please make another so that's what we're gonna do we start by spraying our pan and I like this bake clean easy it's a baker spray and then we're gonna sprinkle some coconut and some pecans in the bottom of our pan I didn't toast the coconut or anything first and it's just a sweetened flake coconut and then I bought chopped pecans so I do not need to chop them further but if you find that they're not a uniform size you certainly can sprinkle that in so this calls for a white cake mix and just for the ease of this presentation today we mixed the cake already it is a white cake mix and the usual oil and three eggs that are required for that and some water. Additionally, it has vanilla and pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon and ground allspice, and then some brown sugar. So this is what it looks like once it's mixed together. And I wish you could smell it because it does smell fabulous. So we pour that in on top of our coconut and our pecans. And we're going to spread that around and I try to be a little careful so I don't push all my coconut and pecans to one side. So I'm just going to try and spread that out in the bottom. So we use this oven here in the library, which was also purchased by the friends. Thank you very much. And because it does not fit a 9 by 13, I had to use two pans to get this whole recipe done. So this would normally fit in a 9 by 13. So the next step of this, once you have this spread out in here, is you mix together like a cream cheese type um, filling. And that is with one full pack of cream cheese, three cups of powdered sugar, and a stick of melted butter, because butter is everything. <laughs> <laughs> so then you're gonna take this and you're just going to dollop it in to your cake batter. And we're going to spread that out, kind of mix it in a little bit. It's thick. It is thick. Yeah, it's thick. Um, it's a very, very sweet cake. And I will tell you, I actually used a little bit less than the three cups of powdered sugar here because it is, it is so incredibly sweet. So I thought for the second time through, we would make or take a little bit less powdered sugar. Uh, sweetness is good. It is. <laughs> if you're going to indulge. Yeah. All right, so then I just take a knife or a finger or a toothpick and you just kind of want to spread that around in the batter a little bit. You don't want to mix it in completely. You do want some chunks of cream cheese in there, but you want to spread it around a little bit. Once we are done here today, we are going to get this recipe posted for you because I know you're all going to want to make this for Thanksgiving. Yep, we'll share the link to the recipe here. And then the optional ingredients that you can add are chocolate chips and butterscotch chips. Here we didn't have any butterscotch chips, so I'm just going to kind of put in twice the chocolate chips. And we're going to sprinkle those around on top. It's a half a cup of each for the whole recipe, so we can be a little liberal here. And then you can mix those in a little bit as well. You don't want to push them all the way to the bottom, but just kind of get them sunk in a you little bit. You want to see them on top a little bit, right? Right, yeah. right. Now I will say when I baked this 9 by 13, I would recommend putting a cookie sheet or something or a piece of foil under the, the um, maybe on the next shelf down because mine did kind of bubble over a bit. And Is that why it's called earthquake? I think earthquake so. Earthquake Yeah, it cake? really pushed out over <laughs> the top and it was kind of a smoky mess. Detectors, the smoke detectors went off and oh, everything, goodness. but it tasted fabulous. So, <laughs> so once you're done with this, it is ready to go in the oven. 
So through the power of technology here, we're going to pull this one out. Oh, it looks fabulous. That is warm. Do this and we will get this one in. I'll bake that one for later. This is one of the staff's favorite programs that we offer because they all love to eat, hence the name, Hungry Librarians. <laughs> So when you pull this out of the oven, it is going to be a little jiggly yet, um, and as it cools, you can refrigerate it if you prefer your cheesecake cold. Um, it will start to stiffen up and, and set a bit. And we're just going to take one nice size piece out of here. Here we go. It's super moist because of the pumpkin and the coconut and the pecans on the bottom are just amazing. You bring that forward. Oh, it looks and good. There you go. So it is very yummy. Uh, make sure you keep watching um, the Friday after Thanksgiving. We will have our next Hungry Librarians and Sam over in Bonduelle is gonna make us some pumpkin chili. Yeah. And then for December, we're gonna do some holiday treats. So please watch for that recipe, give it a try. If you wanna post a picture, if you make it, please do so. And thanks for watching today.